Dakota State, Jenny Sonnenberg, Maria Bober. Jenny, you set a career high in blocks last time out, and tonight career highs in points and rebounds. Do you feel like some things are starting to kind of click for you a little bit? Yeah, I mean, just we're working the ball around, and we're just getting good shots inside, and, you know, everything's just kind of flowing pretty good. Jenny, a lot of your points seem to come with that little turnaround left-hand shots you were doing under the goal. What was opening up to, to get you that shot? They were um, fronting in the post, so we're getting good high-low looks. And then once they started playing behind, you know, we were just getting the ball inside and just going right to, like, a couple moves we have, and it worked out pretty good. You just talked about their late run. What were they doing to uh, go on that run late in the game? I think um, that run kind of came from us being in place, too, you know, thinking we kind of had it and didn't play as, as hard defensively as we should have in the first, or as we did as, in the first half. But um, they were setting a lot of screens, you know, they're getting good looks. We weren't up denying the ball at all, so it was pretty easy for them to move it around, and we were all kind of, kind of cluttered, like, fluttered. And Maria, you knew with uh, Carnego being out that they're much more of a perimeter team than they've been the past couple of years. So was that the goal tonight? Let's pound it inside and, and sort of make them try and defend the bigs? Definitely. Looking at the lineup, too, we knew that they were going to be a, a, a smaller lineup. So that was one of our goals coming in was to get it inside. You know, we knew they were going to front. So we, as a post crew, we were working. And um, Kenny and Kristen, you know, guards that post up. We were definitely working as high lows or, you know, posting them up. So it was a big look for us tonight. Jenny, was it surprising at all when you get you guys are up thirty six to thirteen against a team that you know you guys know well and has been competitive with you time in and time out? Um, was that one of the better stretches of basketball you think you guys have played this year? I definitely think so. Yeah, we had an awesome practice yesterday. We were really ready to go, and today we were just we jumped on them right from the start. And you know, like at times we didn't kind of let them come back, but you know we tried. We kept our our lead and everything. So. Down the stretch, when it was getting a little tight, were you worried at all, or did you think you were going to be able to pull this one out? I definitely had confidence in our team. I knew that we, and then we did the defensive stops that we needed and the offensive plays, so I wasn't worried. I was confident in our team that we'd finish. Maria, what do you think of Jenny? AJ's been talking all year about she has, you know, all this unlimited potential, and uh, tonight she kind of let people see that. Yeah, tonight was definitely a great game for Jenny. You know, she's a uh, she's a great player for us. She's one of our, our tall girls, <laughs> so it's nice to have a, a taller girl on the team. But she definitely did a great job for us tonight, and has been the last couple games. <laughs> Talking about IPFW coming in here, you know, establishing. Um, well, IPFW is right now in the first place, so tomorrow at practice is definitely we're going to have to be focused and ready to go, and um, we don't really know much about their personnel right now or their offense or defense or anything, so tomorrow is going to be a big day for us to learn a little more about IPFW, but we're excited to play them. So. Anything else?